Hello, uh, my name is Hervé Jamerac. I'm the chief test pilot at Airbus Helicopter, and uh, I'd like to introduce you with the H160. The introduction of the H160 has, has started now. Uh, we have like 100 uh, aircraft uh, that has been ordered, and uh, we have started to deliver uh, in Japan, in Brazil, in France. And so uh, uh, it's, it's really ramping up now at this time, and uh, we are very happy about that. It's been designed uh, to, to, to be uh, capable of uh, a very uh, wide uh, range of missions. Uh, let's, uh, we are talking about public transport, but oil and gas, uh, uh, EMS, uh, let's say SAR missions, uh, police missions, uh, very versatile uh, helicopter, I would say. If you have a look at the, at the helicopter, you see the blades shape, that's for, for noise reduction, and it's very efficient. Uh, we have also uh, the canted uh, tail rotor, uh, so that the aircraft can, can stay level, level attitude in hover and in flight, so that's for the comfort of the ride. Uh, and then it, it's a very, uh, very smooth ride in this helicopter. Passengers uh, uh, love it, and for, for some missions like EMS, it's quite important to have a low vibration level and a smooth ride. Uh, that's, that's part of the technology. But the, the, the cockpit also, the visibility for the pilot, that's something very, very important. Uh, we have, uh, and it's very typical H160. Awesome visibility from, uh, from the pilot and co-pilot. And for confined area operations, for landing on the oil rigs, uh, this is very important. And, it, and it's actually uh, contribut contributing to safety. That's very, very important. We have pushed that uh, one step uh, forward and more uh, with the H160, uh, developing uh, a function like uh, the, the Vortex uh, alerting uh, function, which is patented and, and uh, brings a lot. Uh, vortex ring state, um, it's a bit technical, but uh, it's a situation where the pilot can end up uh, in, in a very rapid rate of descent. And uh, we have uh, introduced on, uh, on the H160 a mean to, to, for the pilot uh, to be, uh, to be warned uh, in advance and to be able to react in time just to avoid that. that that's a good uh, step. And we have also developed, uh, assi we call that assisted takeoff. Uh, that's for the, for the very specific procedure uh, of uh, helideck takeoff or, or, uh, and, and these procedures are, are sometimes uh, complex to fly, uh, and especially on a repetitive way. And, and for that, uh, our autopilot is uh, helping the pilot to, to basically perform it almost automatically, including the rejected takeoff in case of engine failure. So the helicopter is going to go back where it took off. And this is, this is really awesome. Concerning the avionics uh, of, of, well, yeah, this is the uh, system. Uh, again, the system is, uh, is common to the 135, 145, 175 and 160, which makes it uh, very easy to transition from one helicopter to the, to the other one. But uh, on the 160, that's the latest version of Elionix. Uh, we have, uh, the target is to simplify the life for the pilot, for the crew and to, uh, human man-machine interface is, is very important uh, for safety uh, so that the situation awareness for the crew uh, is at the highest level and, and this is linked actually uh, autopilot and avionics is it's it's it's, it's a combination that uh, that's supporting the pilot uh, the, during his mission and making a is our, our life uh, easier. And, and for, I know it, it sounds a little bit uh, funny, but uh, you know, some people say if, it's, uh, if it looks nice, nice, it flies nice. And that's, that's true for the H160. Uh, but more seriously, um, from, from design and from the very beginning, we wanted to have a very stable platform. So uh, even without autopilot, it can be flown. And so the autopilot is adding on top of that some, uh, some more stability and uh, it's very easy to maneuver. And uh, I've, I've mentioned the, 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 the field of view for the pilot, uh, which makes it uh, even easier to, to, to fly in, in difficult conditions. On top of that, you put the autopilot, that's helping the pilot in a difficult phase of the, of the, of the missions, like uh, landing at night uh, on unprepared area for EMS, and that's where you are going to, uh, to, to need all this assistance and that's, that's the 160.